I am a big fan of this current generation of mini models. They're fun, highly customizable, and full of BMW polish. And for the 2023 model year, there are three new special editions available, each one catering to a specific car. And this one here is the Clubman. And I'd love to tell you more, but it's untold. This current generation of minis is the best yet. Still small, still fun, but with a BMW polish that elevates and broadens its appeal. Problem is, Americans aren't buying small cars anymore, and they certainly aren't willing to pay a premium for them. So Mini is a brand in transition. First to bigger crossover SUVs, and then to an all-electric lineup in 2030. In the meanwhile, some special editions will keep the cars fresh, like this one tailored specifically to the Clubman. Now, I suppose naming it the Untold Edition is apropos, seeing as how it'll largely remain a secret. New for the 2023 model year, it joins the Resolute and Untamed editions of the hardtop convertible variants and Countryman, respectively. The Untold treatment can be applied to any clubman, including the 301 horsepower John Cooper Works trim, but this here is the Cooper S, equipped with all-wheel drive, known as All 4 in mini parlance. Untold editions can be specced in this charismatic sage green or midnight black with either sage green or carbon black leather upholstery. All come in the fully stocked iconic trim with no further options. Mini says the Untold edition emphasizes the Clubman's role as the individualist of its class. Perhaps a little too individual, seeing as how it's headed for the chopping block within the next couple of years. But this one looks really sharp in this special sage green paint with the JCW Arrow Kit. And the bronze accents and other unique touches just ratchet up the coolness factor. The Untold Edition adds $2,250 to this Cooper S All 4 Iconic Trim. Mini describes the Untold Edition as sporty understatement, and I wouldn't argue that. It's a distinctive take that dresses the long-roofed Clubman in unmistakable style. The special paint and spoke design of the wheels have been garnering the most attention. I only wish the brass theme continued through the window surrounds because the chrome clashes with the accents seen on the rest of the car. Untold models also include driving modes and performance gauges. Green, Mid, and Sport are toggled between via a switch, triggering corresponding mechanical and aesthetic changes within the car. Mini's S models run with a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine, producing 189 horsepower and 207 pound-feet of torque. Though it's diminutive, it's not exactly light at 3,535 pounds, so that level of power just doesn't cut it anymore. It takes too long between summoning the engine and any reaction from it. 27 MPG in combined driving for an all-wheel drive car is a bonus, but premium unleaded squashes the savings. The JCW Clubman is the one to have if performance is a top priority. Further dinging the driving fun is the absence of a manual transmission, an option many killed after the 2019 model year. Now, I'm not a save the manuals groupie, but in a Mini, I want one, especially if there's not much power on the menu. The 6.6 .6 seconds it takes to reach 60 miles per hour feels even slower with the 8-speed automatic. Beyond the lack of oom, the Clubman S All 4 is missing the romp found in the Cooper hardtop models. Even with the summer-use Bridgestone Terranza tires, this Clubman doesn't spark the desire to tear up the back roads. In conjunction with the drive mode, dynamic damper control can take the ride quality from one that's comfort-oriented to one that's full of feeling. Either way, with Mini's hallmark quick steering, the Clubman always transmits some road, keeping the driver fully involved. I just wish the car handled with a bit more verve in keeping with the Mini tradition. What it does particularly well is mimic the personality of a small premium wagon. Now, minis aren't for everyone, and that's the point. They're full of whimsy and customization. You feel like you're driving something that's highly personalized. With an MSRP of $44,400, $2,250 of which is attributed to the untold package, there has to be an appreciation of these mini tenets. Otherwise, this clubman makes zero sense. 
Beyond the high feature content, it's the small details and boutique nature of the design that attracts a certain customer willing to pay a premium. Whether it's the split rear doors, the Union Jack taillights, or the large circular infotainment screen, Mini marches to the beat of its own drum. The cabin is of high craftsmanship and equipped with nearly everything a $40,000 car should have. Dual sunroofs, a top-notch touchscreen, a pop-up head-up display. Its comfort and convenience resume is here. My favorite? The wireless phone charger in the center console that snugs it in place, even accommodating an iPhone Pro. The Clubman also stocks adaptive headlights, a digital gauge cluster, and ambient lighting with adjustable colors. As for practicality, it does live here. The Clubman's 18 cubic feet of expandable cargo area and 92 cubic feet of passenger volume put it in the midsize classification. And because it sits so low, loading gear is much easier than with an SUV. The rear seats accommodate adults without bumping knees into the front seat backrests, and the hatch area includes a cargo cover and a deep underfloor storage compartment. As Mini grapples with balancing a premium experience with more affordable pricing, cars like this Clubman Untold Edition provide a quirky option to those needing to feed their individuality. For TopSpeed.com, I'm Steve Hammes.